Hello. At the beginning of February, it was my birthday. Now, that's not especially noteworthy, since we all have them. What's interesting, though, is that the day before my birthday was the shared birthdays of two icons of the 20th century. American civil rights activist Rosa Parks and the German wartime resistor Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Rosa Parks was born in 1913 and is perhaps best known for her refusal to give up her seat on a racially segregated bus to a white person. Her actions in 1955 Montgomery brought her death threats, but they became iconic for the civil rights movement. Parks famously said that we must stand for something or we'll fall for anything. Today's mighty oak is yesterday's nut that held its ground. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a Lutheran pastor who was born in 1906. He took his stand against injustice in a different way. He established the Confessing Church in Germany and risked his life in a plot against Hitler. Bonhoeffer was clear that to be a Christian meant quite literally to stand in the world in the place of Jesus Christ. He believed that Christ lived and died for others, and as a result of this, Christians are called to carry out acts of responsible love that emulate Jesus' love. Bonhoeffer is well known for the faith that motivated his civil disobedience and his resistance to the tyranny of Nazism. However, Rosa Parks is unfortunately less well known for her faith. In her autobiography, Parks says, that it was faith that enabled her to not give up her seat. She wrote, the church became our strength, our refuge and our haven. We would pray, sing and use the scriptures, testimonies and hymns to strengthen us against the hatred and violence going on around us. She notes the protection that God gives to the Israelites when they fled Pharaoh. She claimed that the Old Testament prophets in the Bible showed her another world in which justice reigned and intimidation and violence were defeated. What was powerful for her was that she could actually see, she could visualize that world. She wrote, I can see this world because it exists in small pockets. She also said, I want to be remembered as someone that God wanted to be free so that others could be free. Another less well-known fact is that Bonhoeffer was actually inspired by the faith of the black churches, like Rosa Parks. In 1930, whilst living in America, he worshipped briefly in the black churches of Harlem. There he heard powerful preaching about the Jesus who suffers with the oppressed and invites us to be responsible people who stand up in history. This impacted his life writing and actions. Very often, we build walls between religion and politics. And usually these are there for good and understandable reasons. But Rosa Parks and Dietrich Bonhoeffer are among the best examples of why those walls will always be porous, because the pursuit of justice is where these worlds intersect. The late Archbishop Desmond Tutu once said, when people say that the Bible and politics don't mix, I ask them, which Bible are they reading? The shared wisdom of the lives of Rosa Parks and Dietrich Bonhoeffer is in teaching us that we need to think deeply and learn what to stand up to and what to stand or even sit down for. Doing this might be the only way to be truly free. I pray that our lives would be inspired by theirs. Bless you all.